Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when you are suffering from excessive noise by like children or juveniles on the street in your neighborhood or whatever. Here we had a sample on YouTube. Uh, pe uh, yeah, juveniles were playing on the street very loud for long time and neighbors called the cops and the cops came and they started playing. Basketball loudly in the street the and the basket. Yeah, at the this end the they called them to, to be a little bit less noisy. So I mean it's a good thing, it's a very positive thing. Um but does it work? Probably not. Uh even when it looks very positive i think police will leave and 10 minutes later it will be at least as noisy as before because even more kids were playing so yeah what can you do i mean you can talk of course that's always a good thing talk to the people talk to the children causing the noise talk, try talk to the juveniles try to give them other options but i mean when these are not your kids not your uh relatives you have nothing to do with them so chances they will respond and react and be quiet um yeah are pretty minimal based on my experience it's really really difficult to get any result so what you have usually you have noise ordinances from your city county from um, government whatever so something like this where they say they have a reduced um yeah residential areas have a limited um time from 7 a.m to 11 p.m where 72 decibels are al allowed and after 11 p.m it's reduced to 55 decibels 55 decibels that's really good but 72 decibels that's pretty loud still and especially when it's too long for too long time then it can be really annoying of course you can call the cops when it's animals then you can sometimes call animal control um, but it can be especially when, when, when kids are uh, outside from 7 a.m almost to 11 p.m they are not supervised uh, by uh parents which care also about neighbors they can cause a lot of noise and you can try to ignore them for a certain time but it doesn't work after hours and hours or yeah especially when it's it's ongoing for days and weeks and months you can't ignore that when it's above a certain level and yeah of course you can try earplugs for a certain time also this can work <coughs> especially when you have to sleep during the day when you're first response and you have to sleep during the day you have to use something like this but it still can be really um disturbing yeah when you are just inside uh, noise of course comes from outside you can try to listen to a little bit of music uh, then it you can you can hear it not so much of course the noise from outside when you are listening to your favorite music but yeah sometimes you run out of options and that means war um yeah where you have maybe no options you have tried everything and yeah i mean when they bother you you can bother them that's the good thing so far um yeah what can you do usually 
your first choice actually after you have tried everything is something called the mosquito here we have the thing in Wikipedia um, it looks like this it's a speaker really uh, advanced system a company has invented this this is a sound it was um, sometime before first uh, devices were just with one frequency now they have two frequencies uh, one is 17.4 kilohertz the other one is 8 kilohertz which everybody can listen the one at 17.4 is probably more annoying and can um, only be heard by small kids or juveniles up to about 25 years of age it's not always the same exactly same thing there are some people above 25 years they still can hear it there are juveniles who can who cannot hear uh, but I guess 95% um, of the people it will work so that's the good thing it uh, this sound does only bother young people and yeah that's a good thing so what's the bad thing about this uh, when you go to the manufacturer or as a reseller I don't know if this, this is the re uh, manufacturer or the, the reseller at least I have found a page where they are selling this and the price is above 1000 US dollars it's pretty expensive to just give it a try and see what happens I don't know if they have a, a money refund uh, but I haven't seen anything like this so it's pretty expensive and what I thought yeah it's actually it's a speaker and it's a sound so why shouldn't be possible to create something like this on my own so I went to the internet and was looking for the sound and I found this on YouTube here's the URL um, yeah the mosquito annoying sound to make young people stop hanging out in front of your property especially when they uh, are littering or causing even damage then you want to have uh, then you want to move uh, young people away um, here they say if you are above 55 you might not hear it, uh, it, it it's definitely uh, starting younger at about 20 or 25 years here we have it I put it a little bit on low volume so you don't have uh, you won't have too much problem hopefully with that here's the sample it's uh, 18 minutes so I for myself I can't hear anything so I'm having problems anyway to play it so here it is again so I can't hear anything but I I, I stop it so uh, I don't know if you were able to hear that or not so anyway you have the there's uh, the sound available on YouTube I don't know how high the frequencies go at on YouTube videos but probably it will work when you download it is the question is just can you download uh, yeah from technical side uh, you have to use a third-party sites where you go there are pages uh, where you can convert um, YouTube sound uh, like YouTube videos to sound so here is a site which I have found it's called convert to mp3.net and at, at least at the moment it seems to be pretty uh, clean no annoying uh, advertisements no pop-ups no viruses so far uh, other people have uh, confirmed same thing because a lot of uh, uh, there are a lot of, of sites when you google something like this you come to a lot of sites which are full of junk it they, they have endless pop-ups 
and are so doubtful i don't know i wouldn't go there so if you need it go to the uh, this website i will provide the link i will also provide the youtube link the um, question is only is it allowed so actually as far as i know youtube is not allowing downloads especially in uh, specific countries uh, also yeah countries uh, themselves have regulations not all are allowing downloads from the internet there are some countries which uh, allow to make a private copy if you're not selling these things if you're just using for yourself in some countries it's uh legal i don't know it's legal in switzerland for other countries i don't know so you have to find out if this is a possibility a legal possibility and apart from that there's also another site where you where, which provide this sound that's the audio check um that's a site where you can pay for uh, don't donate at least five dollars here and then you can download all the sounds and they have also these uh two types of mosquito sound they have the steady and the modulated and i've been using the modulated uh, the, 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 the the steady sound and um yeah uh, the thing is when you download it it's just uh i think i can't remember how long 20 seconds or one minute or so not long enough uh, especially uh, to use it really efficiently so what you need to do is you go have to go to a site uh, you have to use a, a program where you can extend the sound this is audacity um, yeah you can download this from source forge uh, for free you can download you can then put the file this file which you downloaded here you can put it into this tool and copy paste 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 as long um, so long that that uh, at the end your file will be um, two hours or so well, that you have one one file for two hours with this sound then you download it uh, or export you have to export it as a WAV file so mp3 sometimes uh, does a little bit of um, yeah it drops some sound which they think is not uh, people are not able to hear like when uh, it's too a high pitch or something like this the mp3 to make files smaller they drop some sound so it's better to export it as a wave uh, file so then of course you need something to play this sound you have to put it on an uh, sd or micro, micro sd card and to put uh, put it in a, a speaker which is uh, first really strong at least i would say 10 watts or even more and it has to be a speaker which is capable to play sound up to 20 kilohertz this is one you can see here you have, can see the frequency goes up to 20 kilohertz and it has a peak maximum power output of 10 watts so this is the one i've been using with a lot of success i have to tell you i have also played it to children which i know and they have been confirming that it's really extremely loud that it um, disturbing for them and they don't they, they didn't want to listen for long time so it can be quite annoying and it also has be uh, has to be waterproof so if you put it outside uh, then it has to be some kind of waterproof if you get a quick shower uh, it shouldn't be um, yeah just uh, um, yeah <laughs> dist um, destroyed of course and it has to 
run on battery for a certain time. This is still available on AliExpress. You can order it, uh, but AliExpress, a lot of people don't like to buy AliExpress. It's not the same thing as Amazon. So I have been looking for a device. I will also put a link for this uh, to the, the description. Uh, here you have a similar thing. It's also 10 watts maximum output. It's waterproof or water resistant, so it should survive a quick shower. And it has a frequency range up to 20 um, kilohertz. I have found it. Uh, yeah, frequency 50 hertz to 20 uh, kilohertz, so it's even better than the one I had. So, and it, I think it has a play duration up to uh, 16 hours with 70% of maximum volume. That's pretty good. I think it's that's even better than uh, the one from which I bought, and it's cheaper. So. Um, yeah, it has also good reviews. I really I think I can, at least from all what I have found here, I can really recommend to use this device. You can use it for other things too. It has Bluetooth capability. So the thing is only, the question is only, are you allowed to do that in your area? So, I mean, when you go to the web page of the seller, it says, no, it doesn't say anything. It is on Wikipedia. Wikipedia says it's sold in Australia, France, Denmark, Italy, Spain, Germany, Switzerland, Canada, and USA. So I would assume that it's legal in these countries. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't be sold. But yeah, just make your own research that it's not illegal in your area, in your country, in your, in your um, county or whatever, wherever you live. And yeah, only use it after you have um, yeah, um, yeah, tried everything else because it's it's just a lost resort. I mean, something like this can really mean war with other people. If they find out, they will not be friendly anymore. But I mean, yeah, usually it's your last resort. It's your last thing, your last option, which you have. It, of course, means something like war with your neighbors. But if they bother you, you can bother them if they are really uh, not willing to change anything to give you some uh, relaxation which uh, everybody deserves or if you don't get enough sleep you don't you you have to do something the only thing the last thing which i want to want to mention and which is really important uh, yeah, uh, so if you are using something like this, you put the file on the micro SD card. Oh, I hope that's a micro SD card. Uh, yeah, up to 32 gigabytes micro SD card. Uh, and you start playing, you start uh, this device. Of course, you have to use it on the highest uh, output, but then it can uh, be um, really strong. So it can cause really high output in the uh, very, very close to this device. And I have found uh, evidence or yeah, at least some reports that people uh, have suffered from hearing um, damage when they went close to such a device. So, so uh, when you're older than 25 years, you you produce this sound, you put everything in, you start it and you can't hear anything. You think, hmm, does it work or does it not work? And then you go clo very close with your ears and you you try to listen you 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 really go go uh, up to uh, a few inches and that 
can be so loud that it may be uh, may hurt your uh, ears and cause uh, irreparable uh, damage to your ears uh, I have heard about at least one complaint from one person it's a couple of years ago and there has been a big discussion and uh, some experts say it's possible some experts say it's not possible because it could only damage the range uh, where you can he hear sound so it will destroy uh, capability to hear sound at 17 kilohertz which you can't hear anyway when you yeah usually when you're older than 25 years so it shouldn't harm you but yeah this person has been complaining that it uh, affected also the other ranges so you have to be really careful don't go too close when it's on high volume or use um, earplugs when you uh, position it and uh, make sure that no uh, pets are really close to that or um, yeah small children are not too close to that put it somewhere where nobody can uh, come too close I mean it should be dis um, disturbing annoying uh, but it, it shouldn't harm people that's not the intention so yeah I think I've covered now everything uh, it took me 20 minutes uh, I hope you were still uh, watching and listening everything and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and I'm always uh willing to talk about and trying to help and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time